Welcome back to Biodome Part 2. The search for Polly Shore. Just kidding, it's Bioshock. You know that by now. It's Part 2, fellas. And fellettes. Hang on, let's see. Alright, checking my time here. Alright, so this part, we're gonna whack some bitches. I guess we did that last part. We're gonna whack them again. We got some, uh, fucking stores here. The vending machines. We also have the sentry bots over yonder, which I will hack. This is the first, the first hacking minigame of the game. If you don't do it on that bot. And by bot, I mean, this is the bot. The the store. We just passed the store, but this is the bot. Alright, so here it shows you the difficulty scale. Green means good. And that means it's easy. So let's go ahead and hack away. Uh, this is basically uh, fucking, what's it called? I think the name of the game is Pipe Dream. Some shit like that. It's like this PC game. It's just like an install game on your fucking PC. It's essentially a version of that. Um, it's pretty fucking easy. It's pretty fun. I'm sure it's going to get really boring and uh, it's going to become fucking annoying as shit like to watch over and over again. So I'll try not to do it that much. But for bots, it hacks them. So there you go. So you have um, you have as much time until that goob coming out the left there. You'll see here it's on the tube I have highlighted right now. It'll start coming out there. And you just need to build a path to get to the other end. Now thankfully, if you build the path like in advance, like you know we're already done, you can just hit the Y button. It's like and you're done. So for bots, it'll hack them and like put them under your control so that thing will fly around and shoot the shit out of people for me now. And for vending machines, I go in here, you see there's this shit down here which we can only buy if we've hacked the machine because apparently we're not good enough to buy it if we haven't. We're, you know, scumbag pieces of shit. And I think in general, it lowers the price of shit, which is good on hard. But again, it will get fucking annoying and boring. So let's hack this one, see how much this lowers by. I can pretty much just blaze through this ones in the beginning. All it is is just fucking clear a path like to the exit and then usually you'll have enough parts to get over there by then. Oh, oh god, oh god. Once you get like two ahead, it's 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 kind of impossible to fuck it up. In the beginning anyway. So, this is part two. How are you doing? This is one of the many reasons why I like contemplated whether or not I should do a Let's play in Bioshock, because there's just a lot of repetitive shit like this. There you go, you see the prices have dropped, where I think the the health was 20, and the e hypo was 25. So it looks like everything dropped by 25%, if I'm doing my math right. If not, oh well, fuck you. So, Eve hypos are good right in the beginning. You definitely want to uh, just spend your money on health, Eve, and bullets, because when you get your upgrades and shit, you don't use money for that. There's like a different system of Adam, that you saw, like, uh, in part one when the when the little sister was stabbing that dude's face in. I'm like, why you gotta stab that dude's face in? So she was stabbing his face all up for the Atom. So that's what you use to buy upgrades and shit. So, fucking spend away at the at the store uh, for that. Oh shit, there's a dude. And because, uh... Oh, there's a bitch, sorry, not a dude. And because, uh, you can only carry so much, and you'll constantly find money that... Ah, you fuck, that you can't carry. So it's, it's fucking annoying when you have money, and it's like, wow, I wish I fucking spent it at the store because I can't fucking pick it up right now anyway. Come here, you little shithead. Come here, you bitch. There you go. This fucking turret is useful as shit. I don't know if it can actually hit you as far as, like, friendly fire goes. Probably because there's there's uh, rocket launcher turrets later, and those absolutely can hit you for friendly fire. Like, when they whack you and explode all on your face, and you're, you're like, ah, my face! It got exploded on. Here we go. Alright, so we're in the medical pavilion here, and this is like Steinman's area. I bring this up because that's who's talking on the tape right now. That's Dr. Steinman. And he's uh, basically a fucking balls to the walls, crazy ass surgeon who messes with people's faces and does a lot of shit and plays with dead bodies. And, you know, that's probably the guy that, like, wow, my screen jumped there. That, like, fucking, like, killed cats when he was a kid and shit like that. That's this guy. So this is where we are, so we need to... Well, I'm not gonna tell you what we need to do, because we haven't fucking figured it out yet. I'm trying to wait for this guy to finish talking before I pick up the other tape, because then that other tape's gonna start. And I'm gonna talk over that one, too, but, you know, whatever. Changing sex. Oh yeah! Titties all the way, baby! Yeah, 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 yeah! We done? Okay, good. Grab another tape. Oh, dude, there's just money over here. Dr. Steinman. Alright, so while she's rambling on, let's figure out where we gotta go. We gotta go backwards, which is where I just was. <laughs> oh, shit, it's locked? I just saw the way to go, and then I got all... I got all fucking bamboozled. I got flustered. 
Oh, let's head this way. Oh, emergency access. This is where we're going, right? Okay. Take the wrench out. Get ready to wrench the shit out of somebody. This dead bitch. They're pretty generous with bullets and um, health and shit like that. So, it's really not that hard. You just really want to... Besides doing a Let's Play, um, conserve your ammo and shit like that. Oh, God! For for the beginning of hard. So, like, again, save a lot. If you get your ass kicked, like, for some reason you turn a hallway, or you turn down a hallway or something, and you have to use, like, three health packs at once, that kind of fucking blows. So you might want to, you know, just restart if you've just saved it. But I'm going to try to avoid doing that. So now we got the Tommy gun. This thing's pretty good. It's good for taking out, uh, like, humans. It's all right on the Big Daddy. doesn't really do that much damage, but most guns in general don't do that much damage against the Big Daddy. So now all hell's breaking loose. I don't know how many times I've said that this part. Thus far. Gah, 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 gah. I fucking missed like every shot. The bot's great too because you can use just plasmids. Like like this shithead over here. If the bot's near him, I can just stun him and the bot will just lay into him. My bot, of course, is not here at the moment and is off fucking about, but. Oh, oh, oh! You just use so much fucking Eve on hard. Whack in the fucking head. Whack in the fucking head. Boosh! You little- Oh, there's a bitch behind me! Thankfully, people are loud as dicks. It's not really like Dead Space, where people hop out of vents and sneak up on you. It's more like, I'm coming to get you, motherfucker! And they like run down the fucking hallway, screaming your name until they hit you. But I guess that's pretty accurate for fucking crackheads like that. <laughs> that bitch is just fucking screaming like a banshee. Boom! Oh, you're dead, bitch. Go to hell. Oh, all right. We got a bunch of dudes running out. Let's use some health there. Clack, 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 clack. This game can get pretty action-packed at points. You usually don't have that many people running at you at once. I mean, that's probably, you know, some of the most you're going to get, like what happened just there. There's not a lot of times where there's like 500 dudes. But when they get more powerful later, you can get killed. As you saw, I, I dipped low uh, a, a little bit there. I had to, I had to heal a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to save that one. Like, save it from the audio, but couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, so I just coughed. Incinerate, by the way, is the name of the plasma that I was thinking of at the end of the first part, where you can shoot fire, and I was like, what the hell's the name of it? Guns are a pain in the ass, because it's like, holy shit, I almost died. I couldn't even get up to her without getting my fucking ass shot. There's a guy behind me, or somebody, no, yeah, no, yeah, oh, yep, there he is. Bitch, fucking caught in the wheelchair, look at that, some, some VAB technology going on. Oh, there's somebody else. <laughs> Crazy bitch. This turret is doing fucking good. I don't think it ever runs out of bullets. So it's pretty much just until somebody blows it up. And in this... I'm just looking for a corpse because it fell off. Boosh. Seven dollars. No, ten dollars! Whoa! Uh, early on, there's not a lot of people with guns. A lot of people have... Um, uh, 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 they just have melee weapons. I'm gonna find out how to fucking stroke there. So the, the turret's really great because they can't even fucking shoot it. But once they start getting, like, projectiles and stronger weapons and rocket launchers and stuff like that, your, your ally turrets will get destroyed pretty quickly. But, you know, until then! Right? Exactly. You know what I mean? You know, standard stuff. This game's fucking crazy. And fun. Crazy fun. Good time. Oh, ring the doorbell. Don't be rude. Bing bong! Hello? Oh, it's just lovely. This is what you have in your entry hall. It's very welcoming to, to guests. I think we should be rolling on Big Daddy soon. I don't know if we'll fight him. I kind of feel like I'm going to go against everything I've said so far and save it. Because I kind of want to fucking say I want to fight a Big Daddy. But maybe I won't. Maybe, 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 maybe I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I will. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There's a fucking mounted turret right there, so my bot's fucked at this point. He's gonna fly out there to fight the turret, and there's no fucking way he's gonna win. But, you can hack these turrets. So if you zap it and run up to it, like, from the side, like I'm gonna try to do- Oh, shit! Okay, there we go. Got caught. Once you hit hack, now the game freezes. So even if there's, like, a bunch of dudes shooting at you, like, outside, when you're hacking this right now, the game is frozen. So you're in, like, a safe zone where- you can fucking hack this, and then when you pop out, it'll blast the shit out of anyone that was in the room shooting you. So these things here, these little red, these red things are just like fuck you spots. If you hit that, you instantly fail. I think that's what they're actually called, fuck you spots. So all you gotta do is just 
plan your little tubey path right around them. We'll probably be doing most of the hacking in this game will be on turrets, if not necessarily to use to our advantage, just so they don't shoot the shit out of you, and you don't have to waste any bullets on them, you don't have to blow them up, you know, you just fucking pump some uh, lightning into them, hit them with an electric bolt, and haul ass over to them, and you can, you, and you can hack them like this. And you do the same thing for the security cameras, and the security cameras are definitely essential to do that on, to do that on, Oh, there's dudes right now. This thing's gonna shoot. There's people gonna shoot. Uh, because the security camera will, if it spots you, will, like, call security bots to come kick your ass. So as you can see, that thing just wasted that chick. She just stood there and just got her ass kicked in. $11 for me. Whoa! There's another one right there. Oh, shit! Okay. So now it's looking this way. I'm gonna try and sneak around the side. Ooh! Okay. Just facing that way. Hack that like a bitch, dude. Oh! Don't know what I did there. I don't know what to say during these things because I have to concentrate at least a little bit. They're they're super easy now, and you get tonics that you can equip that actually like simple ones too, without going crazy. That just like slows down the flow of the goob. It's like slow the goob flow by fifty percent. See that's silly too. Always try and go forward. Like unless you're running out of parts and you have to like make do with like you know say you don't have an upper right part. You can go left and like loop back around and shit, but if you don't have to do that, and in the beginning you really shouldn't have to, you can just absolutely just go forward. Just use less parts. It's just, it's just faster. It's just, it's less mind numbing. Look at this. There's health and shit everywhere. And that's what I was saying, like, if you play it on hard, it's not too difficult because the game gives you a lot of shit. It does, but you actually have to kind of look for it. It's not like, you know, finding all the collectibles. That's that's a bitch. There are all the collectibles, but that doesn't help you in the game at all. So now I'll just fucking hang over here, and hopefully this dude runs towards me and just gets blasted by that turret. If he runs in front of the door, I'll just try and zap him, but no, he's being a dick. Running around there. Uh, but you don't have to, like, you know, hardcore search, like, finding every collectible, but just pop the fucking map and be like, oh, I haven't gone to that area yet. Check it out, and you'll find a shitload of health. You'll find Eve, you'll find money, ammo, shit like that's all over the place. Boosh! Alright, well she's a little bit out of blasting range. Oh, now she ran right into blasting range like a fucking idiot. And I almost died. Ooh, shit! Watch your health. Like, always get ready to hit B right in the beginning of the game because you lose health fast. Especially if you end up in front of your own turret and it ends up blasting the shit out of you. Which will happen. Die, fool! Die, fool! Oh, oh shit, okay. So there's the health packs. The health stations, the enemies will totally run over there and try to use them. I should have I should have hacked that first, but I didn't. Hindsight, lol. Considering this guy's not getting shot, I'm assuming they destroyed that turret, and he's trying to do the same thing. He's trying to fucking haul ass to the health station. Boosh! Just run up behind him. So, the thing with the health station is, and somebody pointed out in the comment section, you buy health here, right? It's, it's kind of like a store, except it's just instant. I think it's, it's about the same price as the store. I don't think it's more expensive, but it's just like instant gives you health, it's not a pack, but if you break it, it drops one. The downside is, it's fucking broken. So I generally don't break them, in case I'm like, uh, in a pinch I need health, and I'm like, uh, I can just run over here. And you know, like I said, it's great to get a free health pack, but it's a one-time thing. So I usually just hack them, and it makes them even cheaper. So I can run by in the future if I'm getting my ass kicked. And the other thing is, as you just saw, the enemies run towards the, the health packs, if they're getting their ass kicked. If you hack them, it actually changes it to fucking poison just for the enemy. So if an enemy runs over here, you don't have to do anything. He'll run up to the health pack, fiddle around for a second, or the health station, and then poison gas will come out and pretty much murder him. Because the dudes only run to the health station if they have, like, super low health. They'll either murder them or they'll take, like, slight damage and the guy will be like, Bwah! or be like, Bwah! Hank Hill style, just run away. Uh... But I think that's a much better option than, than breaking them. Because now it's only 10 bucks if I need health. I can swing by, chit chat, talk shop, another diary, play this bitch, grab some money, money behind the chair. I think the max amount of money you can hold is $500. So, it doesn't seem like I like you'll get that much early on, I guess, because I'm, you know, going through it pretty quick. But you will. You fucking totally will, bro. I promise. You will get rich as shit. That's Tenenbaum, she's a pretty cool character. I'll talk over her a lot, just like everybody else. I'm not gonna discriminate over who I'm gonna talk over. So I'll just make it even and talk over everybody. Ah, oh, I fucked up. So now I have this other diary, but I don't want to hit it because Tenenbaum's talking. But by the time she's done talking, it's gonna go away like that. Oh, and then it just ended, so I could've hit it. I could've go through the menus and find it, but I won't. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I think I pointed it out, but, but in case I haven't... Oh, 
There's bitches around here somewhere. I hear them talking. The game flat out tells you where to go with the arrow at the top of the screen. But feel free to look around and explore and shit. Like that right there. I can't get it yet. I need to pick up an item. But I will totally come back here and grab it. And that's just a health pack. You know, it's not something you absolutely need. Whoa! But it's something that's there if you feel like exploring. Look at that. Oh, she's running for a health pack. You're not gonna make it! Where'd she go? Fuck, I lost her. Ah, oh, bitch. Okay, she almost made it. I'll be honest. This is pretty, <laughs> that's pretty close. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, sound effects. I, I really don't want to cut anything. I'm just, Because I won't. I'm not gonna fuck around cutting this shit. So I guess I should stop using these things, but here's the thing, I don't want to. So like, later on there won't be five of these vertical pipes, like in a row, where you can just stack your, you know, pipe straight up. But there is right now. So like later you might have to like snake it, like down here you have to like snake it to the right, then back left using like the bends and shit to alleviate the, the need for a, a vertical pipe. But you don't have to do that for a long time. It's pretty fun. I, I, it's a fun minigame, but some people get fucking annoyed by them. What was that? I thought that was a button. Well, I mean, it is a button, but I can't actually push it or do anything with it. So now the game's telling me to go over here, but as you can already see, there's tons of places that the game is not telling me to go. And some of these places you'll come back to, like, it's just, you know, the game's telling you to go one way now, and you'll eventually end up coming back. But other times, it's just like, this corner is a dead end. So there's just some shit over here, and it's like, you could swing by and get it. But it, ugh, there's a bit of a hiccup and a burp there. Or you can just not swing by and not get it. But I'm gonna keep hacking shit. So this one's already hard. So for the ones that are hard and where the goop moves faster, you just want to immediately get it, like, out of the way. Like, I'm about to fuck up. So I need to get it to the left right here. So you want to get it to the left, get it down, another one to the left, and then it at least gives you some breathing room. And then a lot of times, like, it'll just happen to connect. This is, this is a lot of fucking, uh... Fuck ups here. I don't even know if I can make it out of this thing. Let's see if we can make it out alive. I right, needed this one over here. By fuck ups, I mean the little red things. I don't know why I called them that. There we go. Yeah, we still have enough, but just try and unlock as many pieces as you can so you don't have to be looking for pieces when you need them. Like, try and build the path. I'm talking a lot about this fucking mini game, this part, but I guess I'll just get it out of the way because I won't be talking about it a lot in the future. Um,. You want to just unlock as many pieces as you can, so when you need them, it's like, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, and you can just keep grabbing them. That's it. Grabbing balls, grabbing shit. Okay. Where are we going? We explore it. Look, we already explored that one little extra section, right? We're like adventurers on the mighty seas. So here's a way to go, but the door's locked. And I don't think there's a way in there yet, but I could be wrong. Is it this way? Nope, that's that way, and then there's this way, there's that way, leads this way, that way, it's probably this way. Oh, it's telling me to go this way. Alright, so I'll go this way. I'll come back to this area momentarily. Actually, will I? Oh yeah, something happens, and I'll be like, oh, I gotta come back, so... Like, you can take care of the shit first, and then come this way, so then you don't have to backtrack, but I'll just follow this direction, because it's where the arrow is telling me to go. Oh shit. Is it, oh, come here, you little bitch! Oh, I think that's actually Steinman right there, as he just ignored the electro bolt I hit him with. Because it is a scripted event. So he goes up there in a second when he actually goes up there. Oh, fucking shit. Whoa! I didn't even know what happened there. Somebody just exploded. The fuck? Hello? Oh, there's a bitch. See if I can fucking snipe her. Hang on. Clack, clack, clack. I think she's actually fighting somebody else. And other bitches will fight. Besides the big daddy and shit. Okay, so he's around here somewhere throwing explosives. And we can't move on until we grab one of the explosives and chuck it at that door. Now, normally he's standing on that balcony. I'm not quite sure why he's not there now. But I assume he'll be standing there if I were to, like, say, leave the room and come back. So that's what we'll do, because that's what we have to do anyway. Um, also, a spoiler, we're about to get telekinesis. That's why I mentioned it. Because, I, you know, it's exactly what we have to do. Alright, we're making some decent progress in this game. That's not true. Again, I lied to you. I thought we'd be a little further, but... It's just a... It's a pretty... It's a slow game, but... You do have to do a fair bit of walking, fair bit of talking. No, that's not true. I, fucking Christ! I said that... I'm not trying to say that like every five seconds. That is true! Come here, you little bitch. Come here! She's just hauling ass to a health station. 
Oh, fucking interference! Interference! Oh, she, she almost made it. Except I already hacked it, so it wouldn't have mattered, because now there's poison everywhere. So this bitch is shooting the shit out of me. Come here! Come here! Electrobolt is absolutely essential. Just because you do more damage when they're electrified, and because they don't fucking stop running around like assholes. So they're hard as shit to hit. Even more so than health, I'm just fucking rinsing through Eve on hard because you only get like two shots with Electro Bolt and then you're already- OH MY GOD! And then you're already out. So I assume a grenade guy is gonna come through that door. Yep, there's a grenade guy. Looks just the same as, as Steinman, except Steinman I believe was wearing a red coat. So that guy chucks grenades. When you get Electro Bolt, you can eventually, uh, like catch the grenades and throw them back at him. Oh shit, where'd he go, where'd he go? Come here, shithead! Oh, there's a camera! Camera. Okay, so that all hell's breaking loose. That was a was a security camera. I'm just gonna fucking rinse his ass with a Tommy gun. And if that goes off for a number of seconds, watch he's gonna poison himself. Just let him do it. Yeah, that's right. Go to hell, bitch. Oh, he's gonna break the machine, which is kind of silly, but oh no, he didn't. Look at that. I'm pretty sure the enemies can break the machines if they do enough damage to it, but I could be wrong because there was grenades right there. So I reload. Perfect example right here, I'll just pay 10 bucks. Boop. Full health. And it's actually cheaper than a, than a health pack. Even at the store, it would be about 15. I was, I was talking about a bunch of shit at once, and then, like, everything was happening. And, huh, I don't even know. I don't even know! But, yeah, so I was saying, you can you can grab shit with telekinesis, throw them back at them. That's a pretty good strategy for those guys. It doesn't really work out well now, because I don't have it. So there's a loving memory of this dude. Look great, great-looking guy. And then he went in for some surgery by Steinman. Go over here. It's not not so much a great-looking guy anymore. And then also, yeah, I wonder why he's dead. I love these fucking tapes. I almost want to be quiet and let you listen to them. I won't. But I almost want to. The world called a genius. Oh shit, okay. This is we're going up. I'm almost out of fucking Eve already. Jesus. Oh, sh oh, the security cameras, right. That's what I was saying. So, if you're caught in the red light, like when it's looking at you, it'll start an alarm. I'll demonstrate. Nope, yeah. Like, nope, yeah. I'll demonstrate when it goes back around. So it'll be like, ha! And it's like, oh! Now, if it went for about a second more, Security bots roll out, and for like 60 seconds, the little flying sentry bots will just fly around and fuck you up. And they'll just keep coming for 60 seconds, no matter how many you kill. So you can electrobolt them, and you can hack them, and have them fight for you to fight the other bots that are gonna come kick your ass. But they're always gonna keep coming at you, so ideally you don't want that to happen. So you want to try and destroy or hack these as much as you can. So all you gotta do is just run under it, same fucking deal, hit hack. Uh, a lot of times the security bots will be high up in the air, or the, the cameras, and it'll look like you won't be able to reach them, but you can jump and hit X, and the same thing will happen, like the game will freeze, even though you're fucking floating in midair, the game will freeze and it'll allow you to hack it, so... It, these also are fucking great for killing enemies because a lot of times enemies spawn after you clear a room Like you can turn a corner go go a little further and then come back clear a room and then there'll be a bunch of enemies here and uh, If the enemies walk in front of the security cameras The security bots or the the sentry bots will come out and just kick the shit out of them And you can just fucking chill out in the corner and they'll be like Aah! And those things fucking heat seek them like the turrets are useful But you know they're stationary so you gotta wait for people to walk into them the sentry bots. They're awesome they will fly around and fuck your shit up. Or, in this case, the enemy shit up. Should you hack a camera? Like I just fucking did. Now you're learning a lot. You're learning a lot right here. Here's another little thing. I think this is like the, one of the first tonics you can get. So you just fucking throw his ass in the furnace, close the door. It's all like... Fire! 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 Comes back out. Nothing but guts. Oh! And Hacker's Delight power up. So these are, this is a tonic. I believe there's three kinds of tonics. There's physical tonics, and then two of the other kinds of tonics, which I don't know right now, and I'll tell you what they're called when I pick them up and the game tells me what they're called. So you start out, you can put um, two tonics in each category, right? You have two open slots out of six. And as you progress through the game, you can upgrade those slots, enabling you to put more in. I didn't even really check what it did. The game might have said it. I didn't read it out loud. Hacker's Delight basically helps with hacking. It's one of those things I was saying where either it like slows down the goop or it makes it a little easier or some shit like that. Um, mostly we're going to be using like the power-up tonics. There's there's some like categories where I won't even bother upgrading because it's like shit that I don't need. 
But that's what I was talking about as far as the wrench goes. There's a lot of useful things you can use for the wrench. Come here, you asshole. Ugh. 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 There we go. And you just get beat. And you just get beat. And another bitch beat. And another bitch beat. Another bitch fucking beat. Hey, gonna beat you too. Another bitch fucking beat. A lot of times you see shiny shit on the floor and then you go to pick it up and it's like, where the fuck is it? Scoot on under this door. Boosh! There's Incinerate, one of the, uh, plasmids. That's the word I was looking for. So you slap that right in the slot. Again, like the tonics, you only get two slots for your plasmids to start. You can get up to six. I'll probably only buy, like, three or buy one or two. I like to have three or four total because, like I said, I won't use that many. So this is just fucking shooting fireballs now. And if you didn't figure it out, you can light this oil on fire, which is cool because the game puts it right there. So just be like... You snap your fingers, kind of like Mustang, except you don't need no magic spark gloves. They're not magic gloves, they're just gloves that make sparks, and then you can use that to, to, you know, make fire. But, yeah, they got fucking roasted. So it's kind of like the water with the electricity. If there's, if there's oil, you can just shoot fire at it. It, it burns a lot fucking longer, too. So you just hang out and wait for it to go out, because I don't want to get burned. There we go. You are not like the Human Torch. You cannot walk through fire now, even though you can use fire. I, I Somehow your hand doesn't burn, but the rest of your body will absolutely be fucking incinerated. Just like the name of the plasmid! Back to you, Chuck. So here's what I was saying in part one. Hold the left bumper, and you can now pause the game to switch between plasmids as well as weapons on the right there. Headphones, or at least like listening to your speakers, very useful in this game. Because right now I can hear the camera. Now I think it's the camera that I already... Hacked on the first floor, but shit like that cameras turrets like I said people talking because they're all a bunch of crackheads So even before they start running at you and yelling and screaming they talk to themselves and shit like they're like ah, My baby smells like duty and you can at least be prepared and know that somebody's about to start some shit So get your ass ready and get ready to roll out bum 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 roll out so back in the earlier section which we're gonna be going to back to in a second so I don't know why I'm saying like talking about it like we're not gonna go back to it because like for example look we're right here here's one of them I can already hear people lurking around over here here's some icy that you can use incinerate to blast most of the plasmids or at least the ones they hand you like because there are plasmids later that you can buy and shit uh, most of the ones that they give you for free you have to use like through the course of the game like you need electro bolt to open doors you need the fire right there to uh, to melt ice. You need telekinesis at least a few times. Like right now, we need it. Like I said, to throw the grenade back at that dude. Uh, you need electric bolt to zap this bitch in the back, and then fucking mark her. All right, she got a few good hits in. Not gonna lie, I was a little surprised by that. Kind of a champ fighter. But all the other plasmids you buy later, you don't you don't need. Like the bees, you can shoot bees at people. You don't need that. There's a code right there. I wonder what that's for. Zero four five one. Oh, there's a door right here. Hang on, let me. And the code here. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's 0451. Oh god, it is. Even shit like this, you know, it's super easy, but fuck, you can you can totally run past this and miss out on a bunch of ammo. And that automatic hack tool, that basically hacks anything for free. So you want to save them towards like harder stuff. You know, you, you have the little hacking meter of, of uh, scale of, scale of difficulty, and things like safes are by far the hardest to crack, or it's, they're just a pain in the ass sometimes. But I always run around with five hacking devices or instant auto hacks, and that's as many as you can carry. So I'll probably burn through them even on vending machines just to avoid hacking them in this Let's Play. See, I'm getting ready here because I knew something's going to happen. Um, but yeah, that's, that's something I always hoard in the games, and it's never worth hoarding. Like, I always have, I generally, like, have, I find a fucking automatic hacking tool and I can't pick it up, so then I'll go and use one on a vending machine just so I can now pick up another one. And it's like, well, you know, I guess I could have used it on the last six fucking machines I passed. I'm gonna haul ass back here, and then you wanna immediately just duck behind this. No? You don't wanna duck behind this? I lied. You wanna grab this, have Electra Bolt out here, duck behind that! It's like I knew. There's fucking all kinds of shit flying at me. Oh yeah, okay, this thing's right there. So zap it, haul ass towards it. Oh, there we go. You can totally make it there in time. Like, if I hit the X button, like, if you have an automatic hacking tool, after you zap something like that, and it's now eligible to be hacked, when you run up to it, it'll ask you, it'll ask you if you want to use it or not. And I say that, I think you need to zap shit in order to hack it. I could be wrong. You might be able to just run up to it and hack it while it's functioning normally. I'm, I'm not positive on that. But 
it's fucking crazy. It's suicide to just run up to a turret that's blasting your ass. Generally speaking, you, you might as well fucking zap it. So, like, right here. I guess I'll, I'll do it this one time just to see the scale of difficulty on the save. It's shit like that, like, right at the start. So you can't go right, so you immediately have to throw this on in order to go down. And then you immediately gotta go back to the left. So if I don't grab a, a left one in a second, I'm gonna be fucked. There it is. Okay, I'll get it over there. Boosh. Move that along, move that along, move down. We should be alright from this point. Put that there, put this here, there we go. But, that's much harder than anyone we've had so far. Also, you can see the, the box, it's much, much smaller. So you have less shit to use. So, that's just an example of how the difficulty scales in these things. Later on, I'll just say fuck it. I'll definitely use an, an instant hacking thing on any safe I come across. But I'll probably start, probably start using them on vending machines as well. So that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good cleanup. We used some Eve there, but managed to get a decent amount of money, so... You just want to keep replenishing- oh shit, there's a bitch somewhere. You want to keep replenishing your health and your Eve in the beginning. That's absolutely the most important, because if you run out of that shit, you're boned. If you just have your wrench and your gun, you're gonna die. And this just looks beautiful in here. There's a lot of situations in this game where, like, the room will be clear, and people will pop up behind you, I guess, which is kind of opposite of what I've said before, whereas people are always running at you, because they do that, but there are some jump scare moments. Like, I believe in this very room, like that. Like, the lights go out, and you're just like, oh, fuck! Oh, shit. That guy over here, fucking take your money. Security experts! So there's another one. New offering, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that doesn't really even tell me anything. So, there we go. It actually gives us a description this time. Well, it gave it to us last time, I just didn't read it. So, it reduces difficulty when hacking turrets, bots, and cameras. So that's just kind of like a, uh, uh, like a permanent thing. It's just all, every, whatever, bot, security thing in camera, whatever just said that I already forgot. It just makes all that shit easier, in general. <clears throat> As long as I have that equipped. <laughs> the music's great in this game. Holy shit. Okay, so I want to switch to the wrench there. Could have waited till he went in the water, but he kind of scared the shit out of me. So I was just like, UGH! But yeah, shit like that will save you save you Eve. If I ran around a little bit, got him in the water, and then blasted him, he would have died in one shot. When I had to whack him with a wrench, he wouldn't have hit me. You know? I'll have to live with that. Mistake that I made. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, okay, there's something shooting out there, but I don't know now if that's one of mine or one of theirs. I'm assuming it's one of my turrets, because I try to hack everything I pass. Shut up, bitch. Oh, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Come here. Come here! Mm. When we get wrench jockey, I believe it is, it's one of the wrench things. Uh, you run faster with the wrench, which is awesome, too. So, like... Even though I use other weapons and stuff like that, I will generally default back to the wrench and run around with that because it's just the fastest fucking thing. You know, you, you move the quickest with it, so why wouldn't you? All right. I figured we could clear Medical Pavilion in this next part, but god damn, this is taking a while. Because the game's so meaty, guys. There's just so much meat. I fucking forget how to get in here now. Oh, here we go. No, never mind. I thought I saw something and then I didn't see it. Oh, I remember how to get in here now. Never mind. We end up coming back that way. So that's all that northern part is when after we get telekinesis. So I think we're good on this floor. Now we have to go downstairs. I guess I'll go a little further. We're already at about fucking half an hour already, which is fucking crazy. God damn it. It sucks because I know there's vending machines like right upstairs that I just walked past that I didn't hack. But as I stated, money is pretty darn crucial in the beginning of this Let's Play. Uh... Yeah, that's it. That's, I got nothing else. I was gonna say, at least, uh, if you haven't played this game, I can say these these first few parts are definitely gonna be more informative, just because I'm kind of getting my bearings on hard, and I have a lot of setting up to do and shit like that. Don't worry, the awful crazy bullshit is coming. But for the people that do enjoy this, congratulations, it actually moved past the scope of part one. So that thing, I thought he didn't have Eve, Eve Hypos for a second. I was going to be pretty pissed off. Boop. Boop. And there's pretty much all my money gone. Uh, I should definitely have some machine gun bullets and pistol bullets and armor piercing is great, but it's kind of expensive as shit to buy. I'd stick with, like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy ammo, stick to the cheap shit, because, like, while special ammo works, you know, it helps out for big daddies and stuff like that, it's not that big a deal, it's not crazy, you, you want the fucking health and shit like that in the beginning, so there's a turret going ape shit somewhere, here's another diary, I'll grab that and give it a listen. Simon, I know medical pavilion is your matter. 
This dude sounds like Michael Caine, by the way. The name's McDonough. Also, I'm the plumber in this here rapture. I've been in this house ever since your cries echoed through this house. I repeated myself. He didn't say like that. It was a fucking Alfred line, okay? Alfred said something. Alright, so I think this is like an electric room right here. Boop, electric bolt. Zap the door. Odds are you're gonna get goodies worth more than what it cost you to get in. It cost me a whopping one, you know, zap of electric bolt. Looks like there's nothing in here. Even right there, automatic hacking tool. That thing's pretty sweet. Check in here, get some shit. So there wasn't anything amazing in here. Some potato chips if I was down on health. But there's just a lot of shit like that. And that's where most of the um, the audio diaries are as well. They're in little side doors like that. And that's what's great about this map. It's like, oh, there's a little room right there I didn't, I didn't go through. Okay, hang on, let me check that out real quick. And then, bam, I went through it. It's crazy, right? Technology. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shit. This guy tried to fucking wreck me. But he didn't look a bitch. All right. I think this is the area where you get telekinesis. Possibly. Oh, it's a oh So probably the second best weapon or one of my favorite weapons besides the wrench is the shotgun. There's a fucking turret in here somewhere. Like right there. I opened the door and I just heard. And you hear it whirring. It's a rocket launcher turret. So that's. Okay, they're pretty easy to deal with as long as you know they're there because they fire so slowly in between shots Like once the rocket fires as long as the thing isn't 400 miles away Like that one was right there not that it was 400 miles But it wasn't you can haul ass down the hallway and get to it in time So this little squiggly thing you're seeing right here That's just like an extended tube and it just gives you more time to fuck around because the goob will go through that and it won't just pass right through since it has to go through the zigzags so it'll just get like fucked around in there for a while so that makes it even easier for you to, as you saw, even speeding up it, it took even longer going through there but that makes it really easy to uh... ah fuck fuck so I wasted my shit there I accidentally hit X and reloaded my Eve when I had like near full Eve uh that one's on me I admit it that's my bad but we're getting fucking done with Medical Pavilion. We're making some progress. Uh, not gonna finish it. Not gonna even attempt to finish it, because there's no way I'm gonna. Some fucking armor-piercing ammo hiding under the chair there. But I will leave off here, I guess. Next time, we're gonna pick up the shotgun, and then fucking stuff will happen, and we're gonna be like, Whoa! And it's fucking awesome. So, Bioshock, part three, stay tuned. Hopefully there'll be less hacking. Will there actually be, though? I don't know. Will there even be a part three? Probably not. I fucking forgot to save again. God damn it!